A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The Church celebrates today the, the memorial of St. John Vianney. Our Mass presider today is Rev. Father Bel San Luis, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Jude Thaddeus will now begin. Please rise. Great St. Jude in heaven's glory, patron of all hopeless souls, in our trials be our refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding, desolations, endless pleading, saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client's suppliant, saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client's suppliant. Human hearts in desperation Meet the dreary toils of life Countless thousands have you strengthened By your power in their strife Your warm love turns abating for the hopeless, ever wailing, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant. Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, and our uh, uh, viewers of uh, this uh, live streaming, welcome you all to our novena to St. Jude Tadeus, the saint of uh, the impossible, and of all things that are almost, that are almost uh, impossible. And also, we pray for our special intention, and that is um, for peace and um, our unity, and um, uh, also uh, the war that is happening between Russia and Ukraine. And we also pray for our countrymen, who have been um, the uh, victims of uh, the earthquake, uh, especially in the northern part of uh, the Philippines. So we pray for all these special intentions uh, in our novena to Saint Jude today. St. Jude in his letter says, May mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance through the intercession of St. Jude. Let us approach with confidence God and ask him to give us the graces we need to follow faithfully his son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles 
have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Jude, that the Church may constantly grow by the increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Short reading. But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Litany to St. Jude. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, Christ have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, Christ hear us. us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, a Father of heaven, have, have mercy, mercy on us. On us. God, a Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. God, a Holy Spirit, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Saint Jude, relative of Jesus and Mary, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, raised to the dignity of an apostle, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who had the honor of beholding the Divine Master humble himself to wash his feet. Pray for, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the hands of Jesus. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who after the profound grief which the death of your beloved Master caused you, had a consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension. Pray for Pray us. For us. Saint Jude, who was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who preached the gospel in Persia, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who converted many people to the faith, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who restored an idolatrous king to health, both of soul and body, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who took from deadly serpents the power of enduring man, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who, disregarding the threats of the impious, courageously preached the doctrine of Christ, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine Master, pray, pray for, for us. us. Novena prayer. Together we pray. Saint, Saint Jude, Jude, glorious apostle, apostle faithful, faithful servant, servant and, and friend of Jesus. Jesus. The name, the name of the person who betrayed our Lord has caused you to be forgotten by me. But, but the true Church invokes you universally as a patron of the desperate. Pray, pray for me who is miserable. Pray for me that I may finally receive the consolation and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly the following. And that I may, I may bless, bless God with the elect throughout, throughout eternity. Saint Jude, worker of miracles, please pray for me. Saint Jude, helper of the hopeless, please pray for me. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Grant, Grant Almighty and Eternal God, God everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick. For whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy. 
that are being restored to bodily health, they may, they may give thanks to you in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Concluding acclamation, together we acclaim, Blessed, Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, Saint Jude help, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we um, <clears throat> commemorate and uh, celebrate the Feast of St. John Vianney. Alam niyo po, importante at uh, napakaganda po ang uh, paring ito, si St. John Vianney. Siya po ay uh, uh, patron saint ng mga paring diocesan at uh, yung mga paring religyoso. Katulad uh, namin mga religious SVDs, Jesuits, Dominicans, uh, the uh, Salesians, and so on. So um, <clears throat> we pray to Saint John Vianney, uh, who was known to be a um, compassionate uh, confessor and also uh, um, counselor of those who had problems. He was a very simple man, but uh, so many people went to him for uh, uh, confession and also for a reform of their, of their lives, conversion. So um, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our failings and our sins and ask the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, words and what, what I have done and what, and what I have failed, failed to, do. to do. Through, through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, fault through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary ever-Virgin, ever all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest Saint John Vianney wonderful in his pastoral zeal, grant, we pray, that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand 
to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from least to greatest, shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humble. O God, you will not spurn. Create a clean heart in me, O God. We honor the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? Still others said, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood does not reveal this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly 
from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day he raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forgive, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, um, <clears throat> the gospel of the day is about uh, uh, St. Peter. Um, well, we know today that uh, St. Peter was the first um, apostle and also the first uh, pope of uh, our Catholic uh, Church. At uh, siya po, mga kapatid, dahil napakalakas ang kanyang pananampalataya na si Jesus Cristo ay siya nga ay uh, anak ng Diyos. At uh, siya ay uh, um, he really uh, um, openly said when our Lord asked them, the disciples, who do you say that I am? And Peter said openly, you are the Son of God. You are the Messiah. And our Lord, because of this uh, faith, uh, he said to Peter, Peter said, uh, you are uh, the rock and I will build my church, I will build my church with you as uh, the foundation. But you know, Peter, uh, in spite of his profession of faith to our Lord as the Messiah, he was also weak and cowardly. Alam natin mga kapatid na nung ang ating Panginoon ay uh, uh, nililitis siya at siya ay naghihirap at um, um, tinanong siya na siya ay kasama rin ng ating Panginoon so Kristo at um, alam natin ang nangyari na si Pedro ay uh, uh, he was scared you know, to be identified with Christ and um, I think you know that he did not only uh, uh, that only uh, uh, became weak and cowardly, but he even said that I do not know this man. So that was a very, very grave offense that our Lord uh, was uh, was uh, abandoned by the leader of his uh, apostles. Well, alam nyo, may nagsabi na si Peter daw ay may grudge sa ating Panginoon. Uh, kaya siya ay uh, uh, hindi niya tinanggap uh, na siya ay uh, si Kristo. Ay bakit? Kasi daw ay pinagaling ang Panginoon ang kanyang uh, biyanahan no? ang kanyang biyanahan kaya may grudge siya against uh, our Lord nung siya ay nagkasakit well, hindi po totoo yan pero um, it is a fact that uh, Peter really uh, really was afraid and so he denied our Lord that uh, he ever knew him but you know, my dear brothers and sisters, um, <clears throat> even after uh, Simon Peter had uh, 
really committed this uh, very big uh, blunder and uh, sin against our Lord. Our Lord, when uh, our Lord had already uh, resurrected from the dead, no, he went to Peter and he said, uh, Peter, uh, I uh, have forgiven you for what you have done. And uh, I want you to take care of uh, your fellow apostles. So our Lord uh, took him again and he said, then take care of your uh, fellow disciples. So, alam po ninyo ang isang leksyon dito, my dear brothers and sisters, that even Peter, who was uh, the head of the church, well, he was human. He committed uh, uh, sins and blunders. And this is something that we should learn from the attitude uh, of Peter. That uh, in spite of what he did and what we said about our Lord, that uh, he went to him and even said humbly, Lord, depart from me, for I am a sinful man. So this is something that we should uh, learn and that we should also remember um, that even the uh, head of the church committed uh, sin. And how much more we also, we are all human, and we fall into sin. So that is a very important lesson that we can learn from today's gospel, dear brothers and sisters. And then, of course, um, <clears throat> the other important thing is that uh, if we have committed uh, sin, then we should also be sorry and also make reparation for our, our failing. Alam niyo, maalala ko nung ako ay na-assign sa Divine Word College sa Legaspi. Meron ako isang kaibigan na accountant. At uh, sabi niya, Father, <clears throat> nahihiya ako sa sarili ko. Sabi niya, nakukonsyensya ako dahil uh, uh, Ako ay uh, naglilingkod bilang uh, yung accountant of the company. At alam niyo, Father, ay um, uh, sinasabi ng uh, employer ay um, yung sa account account ng, ng kumpanya ay sabi niya ay kaltasan mo para mas mababa ang uh, uh, ibabayad ng ating kumpanya. So, uh, ito namang accountant, wala naman siyang magagawa dahil siyempre ay eh, eh, under siya ng uh, uh, company uh, company uh, head who wanted to make some uh, you know, hocus pocus no, sa, sa uh, kanilang uh, ang accounts para mas mababa rin o maliit ang bibigay nila sa BIR. So, um, so sabi niya, Father, napakahirap ito dahil kung hindi ko naman susundin yung sinasabi, ay uh, matatanggal ako dito sa trabaho. So, sabi niya, I make an <coughs> I make a um, reparation for this that I am doing. It is dishonesty. Uh, and so, sabi niya, yung aking ginagawang kasalanan ay binabalansa ko sa mabubuting gawain. Mabubuting gawain at saka pag uh, 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 bigay ng mga uh, tulong sa mga mahihirap. So sabi niya, Father, tignan mo yung kasalanan ko that is debit. 
yung akin namang mabubuting ginagawa in reparation, ito naman po ay credit, sabi niya. So, credit minus debit equals zero, zero balance. So, yun po sinabi niya. So, in other words, yung kasalanan niya, yung debit ay nababalanse ng kanyang mabubuting gawain. Aba, sabi ko, okay yan. Ha? Oh, so, uh, uh, dear brothers and sisters, that shows really that you are also repentant of your sins and your uh, uh, wrongdoings uh, in your life. So let us pray, therefore, today that uh, the great Saint Peter, the head of the first Pope of our uh, of our Church will be an example of uh, having fallen into sin, but he really was repentant and returned to our Lord and asked forgiveness. So, brothers and sisters, let us pray that he will strengthen our faith to be faithful to God in spite of our sins and at the same time to be humble in order to accept our sins. Amen. Really, do we remember our pastors who help us each day in our spiritual needs? And this feast day of St. John Mary Vianney, let us remember them in our prayers and let their response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may guide our pastors in leading the flock to the ways of holiness. May they have the genuine zeal for saving souls. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That parish pastors may generously serve the church and bear witness to the good news they proclaim. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the lay faithful may collaborate in the various programs and activities of the parish. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that by their generosity, Christian parents may nurture the religious vocation in their family. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that our deceased priests and bishops may be made worthy to share in the Master's table. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we pray for our other intentions. We, we pray, pray also for the personal intentions of the following. Uh, Rosi Sontai Lita Ilano, Joe Valencia, Marie Rose Navarro, Paul and Carol Galang, Anita Marie Alanis, and uh, Bernadette Del Valle. Lord God, through the intercession of St. John Mary Vianney, guide and protect our parish pastors who make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, in accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice. Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ. For on the festival of St. John Vianney, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here for our Mass, and also those who join us through live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, Father who Father, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, before we offer uh, the sign of peace, uh, may we uh, pray this uh, part of the Mass for peace and unity in the world, especially uh, these warring uh, countries at present that is affecting uh, uh, people all over the world because of uh, economic crisis and because of uh, the uh, fuel uh, gasoline uh, that went uh, up high. And let us also pray uh, for peace and unity in our families. 
that um, we learn to forgive as our Lord has said as so that we will be forgiven also by him so now let us offer one another the sign of peace and reconciliation peace be with you Behold our Lord who comes to us in the form of bread and wine to be our um, spiritual nourishment. Happy are we who are invited to partake of this heavenly banquet. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, word and my soul. my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Each other from the depths of our hearts. 
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of uh, blessed Saint John, Saint John uh, Vianney, the patron of uh, priests that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renademitz, pray for us. Please be seated uh, for a while. First of all, I would like to thank those who uh, 
uh, drop uh, um, their uh, personal uh, intentions uh, uh, here at the uh, statue of uh, St. Jude to the Deus. And uh, may I also uh, request others to uh, um, uh, drop your uh, <clears throat> Um, personal intentions as well para mababasa po natin uh, dito sa ating uh, novena to St. Jude to the use. And please invite others to join us especially those who uh, have uh, uh, financial problems and uh, sicknesses and uh, those especially who uh, seem to have uh, uh, very uh, desperate uh, problems. So, um, uh, thank you for joining us and also for uh, giving your uh, personal intentions here in this uh, <coughs> image of St. Jude to the use. And then, ang isa pa po ay gusto ko sanang um, mag-appeal para sa ating mga seminarista na pumabalik na sila dito pagkatapos ng ganilang uh, summer break. And um, I'm appealing to you that uh, we help our seminarians, especially those who uh, uh, come from needy families. Hindi naman lahat ng mga seminarista ay mga mayayaman, ano? Uh, marami na may have the, they have the aspiration to become uh, priests and missionaries. And um, as we all know, we cannot uh, have priests, we cannot have missionaries and even bishops and popes if uh, we do not care for our seminarians. Kasi nagmumula po dito ang uh, mga pare at uh, mga obispo and uh, at present we are short of uh, seminarians and um, so uh, you know I have um, um, I have um, foundation scholarship for seminarians called uh, adopt a seminarian scholarship program so um, I would like to appeal to you to please help our seminarians to continue with their uh, studies and formation in the seminary. If you <coughs> wish to uh, donate, you can uh, uh, send uh, through my BDO savings account, Father Isabelo San Luis, and uh, the uh, number is 000 22005 uh, uh, So, uh, dear brothers and sisters and our viewers, may I appeal to you to help our seminarians, our future priests, missionaries, and bishops. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord with St. John the Baptist and St. Jude the Deus. Thanks be to God.
Ave Maria, 